clarity and closure of the viewers' comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. If you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it. If you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about, it's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. First comment comes from member the five footer, also known as Preston Henry, and they say, for the claimant's sensation of the knowledge is with the facts of the search, with the cultivation of the mind, with the gratitude by the claimant, Preston Henry. And my kuleana was, what is it you're claiming, Preston? I see the word claimant, but not the word claim. And the point I'm making, and by the way, I do remember Preston did attend the first correct sentence structure seminar that I did, where I gave multiple examples and shared the mechanics of how one would create a correct sentence structure on the spot and one of the first very first important steps is to credential what it is you're claiming what is the main idea of what it is you're claiming and I also went through the steps of creating some of the steps of creating a document contract postal vessel court venue and correct sentence structure where you would give closure to where your knowledge comes from if you start your sentence which I do suggests that all beginners start their sentence with for the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim and then after that you put in what the main idea is that you're claiming but above and beyond that when you're when you're creating a document you would have to give closure where that claimant's knowledge comes from it comes from the claimant sensation of the cognition but that's neither here nor there so we see the word claimant in Preston's sentence but we do not see a claim a claim of what now if i'm reading this and i'm just cognizing it myself trying to guess what preston is trying to claim here it looks like it could be a search it could be cultivation or it could be gratitude so then preston uh takes another shot at it and they say for the claim and sensation of the knowledge is with the claim of the facts now, of course we're claiming facts here this is correct sentence structure that's a given that's why I suggest as I did in the seminar and in multiple other videos that beginners start their sentence with for the claimants knowledge of the facts is with the claim because the facts is already out of the way that's what you're claiming but what's the main idea of what what's the meat of the matter here so it could be a gratitude claim it could be a cultivation claim um but to me when i read a sentence like that like his second try and his first try to be more clear you would say what it is a claim of whether it's a gratitude claim a cultivation claim a search claim a query claim something like that just keep that in mind, Preston. Next comment comes from Dharma Science Radio. And they say, it brings me joy to see you with the use of the word lit. Oh, because the title of the post says, the live streams on TikTok have been lit. <laughs> well, thanks for the uh, comment, Dharma Science Radio. Next comment comes from Maggie McCall. And they say, I do hope you continue here. Thank you. Um, well, yes, of course, I'm going to continue here, but there's almost 900 videos already here. So that's why I'm trying to grow the TikTok platform. And I do invite you 
to join me over there because I will be concentrating a lot of energy over there to get that established. Next comment comes from member Property Geek, and they say, How do we make the word love positive performance with the closure of the finite meme? Well, as I said in my kuleana to this in the comments field, um, you, love is positive performance. There are no particles of negation in it. So it is positive performance. And the finite mean, if you craft it using positive performance words, it will give you closure and positive performance. Very simple. Love is the odd one out among the examples you give when it can be used in so many situations. Yes, I have a finite meaning closure of what love is according to my sensation. It is not the same meaning as those that say they love aliens, God, or ice cream. Well, Property Geek, how do you know that? Are you making an assumption for others? Are you making an assumption that they don't mean the same thing you mean? That love has different meanings? Because if that's what you're talking about, you're talking about fiction, and it doesn't apply here anyways but think about it logically who are you to say that if you say you love your kitty cat that someone doesn't feel the same way about an alien or that someone doesn't feel the same way about god or ice cream maybe the way you feel about kitty cats is the way someone feels about ice cream who are you to say that it's not the same for them especially if you don't know them you see what i'm saying here this is assumption presumption and it's a fictitious condition of mind how does one agree with another the finite mean of words like these with so many meanings given by so many people well if you're going to contract with someone using correct sentence structure you would have to agree on the meaning you would have to come into joinder and certify the meaning otherwise there's no contract very simple thank you for the comment next comment comes from maggie mccall and they say Thank you. Personally, I would hate to go anywhere with a document I did not comprehend, just in case I had to explain it. I also know everyone has limited time in their lives and need recompense for that time they could spend on one. I am slowly making my way through your videos. Yes, I know I have written everything in Babel. LOL. But I'm not good enough yet in CSS, CP, S, G. Well, it's fine if you write in Babel. I mean... That's what I ask people to do. If you can't use correct sentence structure, just use clear, concise, plain, simple English. I mean, most of us here know that language, so it's very easy if we're all here to be clear and concise. It's very easy to communicate using plain English. Um, but one thing you can do if you do not want to participate with adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble, it's a quick fix. Just simply enclose your plain simple English in brackets that way you're not using a fictitious conveyance of grammar cuz hey it's not on the page next comment comes from member for the claimant and they say for this claimants knowledge of the facts is with the claim of the gratitude see this is a gratitude claim it's very clear what the claim is here and of the joy sensation oh those are two claims so wouldn't it be is with the claims or with these claims of the gratitude and of the joy sensation with the broadcast of the speak performance with the jason hyphen matthew of the youtube page vessel with the peace and neutrality of the claim with the balance of the honor and of the grace with the maintenance of the rule one and rule equal with the css performance by the claimant james alexander I'm not sure that you would need another claim in there. And also, I would say, with your use of the conjunction, James Alexander, I highly recommend picking one style and sticking to it. Like you have, with the claim of the gratitude and of the joy sensation, and then down below you have, with the peace and neutrality. So you would either use with the claim of the gratitude and joy sensation or you would use with the claim of the gratitude and of the joy sensation and then with the peace and with the neutrality. You see what I'm saying? Pick one style, be consistent with it for uh, ease of communication and clarity. 
Hello, Jason. Very grateful for your investment. These broadcasts bring a sense of joy. Always a pleasure listening to you speak in a range of relevant topics. All the best. Thank you very much, James. I appreciate your, your comments and your improvements in correct sentence structure. Awesome work. And this one comes from Ed Lobsta. Ed Lobsta, 3143. And they say, the Umbrella Academy PSYOP, The Watchmen, PSYOPs. No idea what they're trying to say there. Maybe they're trying to say that the Watchmen is a PSYOP. And I'd have to say that just about every Hollywood movie or otherwise is part of PSYOPs. I would definitely say that. And then they say, do you not believe in the law of cause and effect? Now, I should include that type of question in a grammar video talking about the way plain English is so convoluted and confusing. Because it's like, it reminds me of the Morpheus meme that you see on the internet all the time. What if I told you, blah, 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 blah. Do you not believe in the law of cause and effect? Why wouldn't you just say, do you believe in the cause of law and effect? Do you believe in the law of cause and effect? Why wouldn't you just say it like that? Why would you say, do you not believe in the law of cause and effect? See, to me, that's convolution. Not only is this generation lacking in critical thinking and logical skills, it's very difficult for them to ask a simple question. They got to convolute it with a with a negative condition of state. I'm not picking on Ed Lobster because this is something that's commonplace across the internet and social media. So as for to answer that, I guess to answer that question, I don't participate with beliefs, Ed Lobster, because belief means no love, and it's an opinion, and there is no law like that. It's a mechanic with my perception. There is a cause, and then there is an effect. There's a cause, there's a consequence of that cause. What goes around, comes around. It's called karma. And yes, I do participate with that concept because I see it every single day. Not only in my life, but in everyone else's life. Thank you very much for the comment. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.